beautiful souls it's karen here and it's our, uh, soul magic inspirations and i'm here with a divine feminine energy check-in so i haven't done one of these for a while i just want to thank you all so much for your support thank you for your likes your shares your comments don't forget to win a free reading go over to my other channel star child tarot to subscribe like and comment the word star over there and at the end beginning of october sorry end of september beginning of october i will announce the winner winners there'll be more than one winner over there so thank you for your support um check out my deck shop check out my patreon um on offer right now five dollars sixty for the mid-tier where there's exclusive readings i've just posted a new divine masculine love letter to divine feminine channeled message it's exclusive on there um, just $5.60 a month for £4.50 UK money. If you subscribe before the end of October, beginning of October, I will give you a free read and as a thank you. Okay, so let's get started. I've got the oracles. So these are for people in separation, no contact. So we've got Divine Feminine. So I do feel that you're really taking care of yourself right now. You're in that energy of self-care, really focusing on yourself. And you've had a lot to cope with. We've got heavy burden, surrendering to the divine and redemption. So you've had a lot to deal with, okay? You've had a lot on your plate. And twists and turns, no shortcuts to your destinations. You've had many ups and downs, many twists and turns, many challenges, you know, on a personal level and in a collective level, possibly. And we've got compass, guidance, goals and directions. So you're following your guidance, you're tapping in to your higher self, to your guides, your angels. And you want to be open and intimate with somebody. You want to have that intimacy with somebody. And you want it to be, obviously, your divine masculine. And we've got letter, thoughtful, contemplative, communicative. So our communication, I think they are going to reach out. If you look at the divine masculine reading, it did look like they're going to reach out. This could be you wanting to reach out. So obviously do what feels right for you. Follow your own intuition. And we've got dog, best friend, loyal, loving and devoted. So that's the sort of relationship that you want. You want somebody like this. You want somebody who's loving and loyal and devoted. And we've got Clover, a very happy surprise. So somebody could be sending you some flowers or a gift. You know, there could be something unexpected coming towards you. And we've got the heart and soul ties that bind. So you're both feeling this connection. And we've got the sun, confidence, courage, success and happiness. So there is the sun coming towards you. There is happier times. There is joy. And we've got twin flames. So some of you definitely are twin flames. And you mirror each other for growth and healing. So you felt that, you know, you've been through these mirroring problems, you know, where you mirror each other's good parts and bad parts. And we've got social media texts, of course. So again, they could reach out to you on social media or you could reach out to them. You know, you could get an email, text or a call even for some of you. And we've got union, hands joined in marriage. So you are wanting this union. This came out in the masculine's reading. I've used completely different decks. I shuffled them all. So to me, that says you're on the same page. Okay, you're both wanting that union. And again, the masculine's on your mind, okay, we've got the divine feminine, and I feel as well you're balancing out your energies, and we've got soulmate energy, past life, love, connection, soulmate or twin ray. So again, you know, you could resonate as a soulmate or a twin flame, you know, whatever it is, it's a soul tie, a soul connection, and many of you have known each other in past lives, okay. So we're going to clarify these energies with the tarot, I'm using my Madame Elise tarot. So that's my tarot that I'm using, Madame Elise. So why is the why is the feminine energy there? We've got seven of coins. So I feel you're putting in that time and effort on yourself. You're really nurturing yourself. You're taking care of yourself. You want to be in a good place in your mind, in your body. You know, you're really taking care of yourself to become a better version of you. And we've got Queen of Wands. So, yeah, you could be a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you're you're going to be coming feeling good about yourself. The Queen of Wands is very, um, you know, she is somebody, you know, very 
a confident person, very sexy person, very passionate person. And I feel if you're not an, a fire sign, you are in that energy. You're going to be coming into that energy and you will attract a lot of attention. And we've got Ace of Swords. So, yeah, you, you've been through a lot of twists and turns. You've had a lot of challenges, but you... You, you see the truth, you know, you're seeing the truth, you're seeing the clarity and you're following your guidance. We've got the love as well. So, you know, deep down, you feel this soulmate connection, this twin flame. You feel it at your soul. There's no denying it. No matter what's happened, you still feel this connection and you want this intimacy with this person. You want to have that chance to share yourself, to, you know, to have those conversations, to share your feelings. We've got the tower energy. So the tower is unexpected happening. So it could be unexpectedly. This person does reach out. As I say, I did feel that there is going to be some communication. I mean, it could be you, but there's going to be some sudden change, I feel, here. Wow. We've got the ten of coins. So that's abundance. You know, that's abundance. That is having the relationship, having a home, family, uh, financial stability. So this could all happen very quickly for some of you that this changes it goes a completely 360 degree change from being separated to being together okay so take what resonates for you obviously this this is a general reading and we've got a letter so i feel there is going to be a communication here we've got six of coins so that is the energy of give and take and I feel that this, your masculine is coming into that energy of balance and you're coming into that energy of balance. And you want that loyalty, you want that love and devotion. We've got the Knight of Cups. So some of you could be connected to a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or this person is going to come towards you in a romantic, loving way. And like I said, a happy surprise. So you could be getting some flowers. But there's passion here. They want to offer you passion, a brand new beginning. They're feeling the love. It's not just about passion. Okay, we've got this eternal soul connection here. Yeah, we've got the strength card. I feel that you both become stronger through this connection, through this period of separation as well. You both become stronger. You're both aware of what this connection is. And you've got happiness and joy coming out in your life. Wow. And we've got the Divine Feminine Energy. So the Empress, you're coming into that Empress Energy. You're going to be in a really good place. As I said, you're doing that self-care. You're doing that self-love. You're doing that nurturing. And you're going to feel really good about yourself. And we've got this Twin Flame. So we've got Devil Energy there. So yeah, there could have been some codependency around this connection before. There could have been addictions, there could have been negative, obsessive behaviours, um, addictions to all sorts of substances. Um, <clears throat> and again, so it wasn't a good time for you to come together at that time. Some of you could have been connecting with a King of Swords, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody not in touch with their feelings, somebody disconnected from their feelings. And we've got message, uh, Six of Wands. So there is going to be good luck you know success happiness coming towards you through this communication and it's going to be unexpected okay it's going to be unexpected because we've got that tower energy there <clears throat> and you're both wanting union yeah we've got the death card so this connection you know the situation you're in right now <coughs> is going to get transformed there is a transformation going on within each of you and between you So what's that masculine energy talking about there? We've got page and wands. So they could have been very immature. I feel they were in immature energy and lustful energy. Okay, when you knew them before. And they've done a lot of growth. Okay, they've done a lot of growing. What else can you tell us? Yeah, they want to offer a new beginning with that Ace of Coins. They want a fresh start. They want to start again. And they're feeling this soulmate connection here. Wow, and we've got the star energy. So after a period of feeling, you both had to do healing. 
you know, this is a wish fulfillment and they want a new beginning here. They want a new um, era in this connection and they want justice. And that's what's coming in. Wow. And we've got the Ten of Cups. So they want that loving relationship with you. They want that union. They want to have that fresh start with you. Wow. So this is mirroring energy. You know, both readings I'm using different decks and different tarot, different oracles. And it's it's the same sort of energy. Wow. So let's get some other energies. So loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. So yeah, I think the feminine has really been through that feeling of being lonely and we saw that she wanted that intimacy that loving connection that loyalty um with a person but you've worked on that and you're in that energy of self-love and you're okay being on your own you're okay being in your own energy and sometimes we need to go through that and learn that and you know you're never alone there's always you know someone around you your guides your angels um you know to connect with and growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So yeah, you've been growing. You've been growing spiritually and emotionally and mentally. And courage. I'm finding the strength to face fear with confidence. So you've been growing in confidence. And you, you're you finding that courage to move forward, as I said, in your individuality. Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So you're coming out of that. You could have been in a judgmental energy. Maybe you were judging the masculine for his um, words and behaviours, judging yourself. But you're coming out of that and having that more understanding and empathy. And health, I will honour the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So like I said, you're taking care of your physical body, of your mental body, your emotional health. You're really taking care of yourself. And you're in the energy of acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So in the acceptance right now of the way things are, and trusting, trusting in the divine, trusting in divine timing, trusting in what will be, will be in that energy of acceptance. Not trying to force anything, not trying to control anything, which is exactly where the masculine's at right now as well. So let's look at the chakra energy. So we've got the heart chakra, compassion, caring, empathy, acceptance and gentleness. And it's a number two plus eight, which is ten, which is the end of the cycle. And yes, you've got that compassion for yourself and others and your masculine and you're accepting, as we said earlier. So you're in a really good energy. You're opening up your heart to love, to give and receive love. And you've got that divine consciousness. You've connected with your higher self, with the divine. And you feel that light energy. You feel that higher consciousness. You're connecting in with that. And you're getting inspiration. You're getting ideas. You're getting sparks and creative ideas and impulses. And you're really connecting with your crown chakra and your third eye. You've had a spiritual awakening, awakening, some of you. And we've got the third eye again. Openness, flexibility, imagination and learning. Yeah, you're really opening up your mind. Um, seeing things from the third eye perspective. You know, from the non-physical perspective. Being open. Using your imagination and learning more. And also connected with the earth. We've got family. This is a base chakra. So I feel that you are working on grounding your energy. Finding where you belong, finding your tribe, finding your community. And we've got two eggs there in a nest. And I feel that you are feeling your fertility. You're wanting to have a family. <clears throat> and this came out, if you check out my Patreon, there is a Divine Masculine love letter reading on there in the mid-tier, um, which was talking all about this as well, if you're interested, okay? Um, so check out my links below. But yeah, you're really... Finding that home, finding your own family, wanting wanting to have a family of your own, some of you. And the sacral chakra, sexuality, openness, sharing, beauty and honour. Yeah, we said that, having that intimacy, sharing, you know, the, your physical self, your emotional self with, with another, having that deep intimacy. And we've got the solar plexus, choice, free will, courage, willpower and change. Yes, you've realised you have choices in life. And you have the free will and it takes courage and willpower to make changes. And you're coming into that energy. You're coming into that personal power, having that self-worth, self-esteem, knowing you're worthy of all good. And love again. Kindness, benevolence, sharing and receiving. So you're definitely heart chakras opening and you're open to the, the energy of love. You want to give love. You want to receive love. And it's the number two plus four, which is six, which I always see as the energy of love. And you're being kind to yourself and others. You want to share. You want to receive. You want to be open to this connection. 
So what do you want to say? You are my angel of love. I dream of you and me doing sexy things to each other. I'm feeling positive about you and me. And you are my fantasy baby. And I want to be your one and only. And you are so sexy, so desirable. I want you bad, I want you now. So really feeling it at the sacral chakra and at the heart chakra. You know, really being in touch with your feelings and your sensuality. Wanting to express your love in that way. So let's get some final messages for, for the feminine. My Life Lessons Oracle deck. Yeah, use your intuition to connect your inner wisdom. So really tap into that. I feel you're really working with that a lot more. Your intuition, trusting in it. Good changes ahead, positive vibes. So you can see the sun in the in the not too distant future. We had the sun energy come out. So positive times ahead. And we've got intelligent and thoughtful contact. So again, I did say I felt the masculine is going to communicate with you. There is going to be communication. And magical surprises ahead. Believe in the magic of life. So believe in anything is possible. You know, believe in the magic, okay? And yes, the sun is about to shine in your life. So confirmation, happier times ahead, joyful times ahead, and a fated meeting, destiny awaits. So I feel this is all down to divine timing. Okay, so just trust in that, believe in that. And I will send you lots of love and blessings. So thank you for watching. Take care. Bye for now.